What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a get ready with me type of video. I have a few castings today. It's basically for a client just to see you in person. They want you to try on their clothes. They want to take pictures of you in hopes for them to book you. So I have a few castings today. This is going to be a get ready with me. It's going to be super simple because um, for castings, I'm not going to do the most. Like I'm doing very, very simple makeup which I will show you guys right now and I don't have like a makeup mirror so I'm just gonna use this little one. I like, I'm only doing my eyebrows and like blush, like that's it. So I'm gonna start with brushing out my brows and get them in the shape that I want. And I just started using this, which I love. It's the NYX Brow Glue, this shit, it's pretty good. So this is just gonna keep my brows in place. The reason why you wanna do really light makeup for a casting is because as a model, you basically have to be like a blank canvas. You have to show the clients um, like what they can work with basically. So if you just go with a whole bunch of makeup, they may just think like, mm, that's not really what she looks like. We don't actually know what she looks like or that's not even the look that we want like it's too glam for us i have done castings for like a specific glam brand like you guys know i used to shoot with boohoo a lot in london um and they do really heavy makeup for their models like really it's really like glam really like ig body makeup so when i did their casting my agency told me to do like similar makeup because they were gonna photograph me so obviously they want to see like what that's gonna look like so it's all about like knowing your client for the most part I always do very 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 simple makeup I'm working on an ebook right now for all my girlies that want to get started into modeling don't know how or even just like want to get signed but they can't get signed like getting signed is not the only way that you can model. Um, you just have to know how to navigate. And I'm gonna be dropping an ebook that will help you navigate the industry like as a freelance model. So I'm really, really excited for that. Let me know if you guys are looking forward to that. I hope you are. Cause I'm just here to drop gems and like share my knowledge. Now I'm gonna go in with some blush. This is the Keys Soul Care. Um, like blush tint or something. They just sent this to me. I'm like obsessed with cream blushes because they're so light and they just look like really natural. I think I put too much on this side. <laughs> But they blend really, really nicely like into your skin. It just looks like your skin, basically. It looks like a really natural flush. I also like just putting some on my eyelids, too. Again, for that natural flush. I also like putting this on my lips. I'm going to go in with a very small amount of mascara just to make my eyes pop. But I already have like really long natural lashes and like clients always think that I'm wearing extensions. So I don't want to overdo it and just put on like you see like as soon as I put it on they just like pop. So I just put on a really small amount. And as for my hair, this is how I keep my hair. This is how I maintain it. Um, so it's like very easy for me to do. I just put it in two French braids the day before or the night before. And then in the morning, take it out. And I have like perfectly defined, not curls, but just a nice texture. And it is kind of similar to like my natural hair texture as well, so. And I forgot I normally get dressed before I take out my hair because then I don't want it to get like frizzy. So let me go do that. <laughs> Okay, so I just got dressed and I'm also keeping my outfit very simple. Just have a silver top, one shoulder, and then these jeans and white sneakers. And then I have this bag. 
So in my bag, I'll be carrying my iPad, which shows my portfolio digitally. I have that downloaded on here. And I also have my comp cards. So this is like a real comp card. It's like a real card. It has like all your information on it, your agent's information. Um, but this is like three years old. This is like my very first JAG comp card. So I just have these temporary ones right now with my updated picture, but it's just like paper. Oops, but it's fine. So yeah, it just has literally like my measurements, my agency's info, and this is what I will leave the client with so that they are able to contact me, to book me, and I'm in a rush, so I think that's all. So now that I'm dressed, I'm just gonna like fluff my hair. And that's how I'll wear it. I also did like earrings, very simple earrings. I'm also bringing some heels in my bag. Like I said, since I am going to meet a client, normally they'll just already have stuff for you to try on. They already know your sizes and everything. So I very rarely ever have to bring out like my own heels, but it is always better to have and not need than to need and not have. And even though I only have like two castings today, I'm gonna bring like probably like five of my cards just to have some extra, just in case. You never know, you just never know. And I just always wanna be prepared. So those are like the main three things that I'm bringing in my model bag, my cards, my iPad, and my heels. If you guys want like a more in-depth what's in my model bag, let me know, but I gotta go now. I switched to my phone camera, cause who wants to carry a camera and all that? But I'm at my first casting. So I just left my casting. Yeah, like it's crazy that that's the type of casting that I'm showing you guys, which is like, that was like my least favorite type of casting. It's like the worst type of casting, honestly, when you just go there and there's like so many girls. Normally when my agency sends me to a casting, um, it's because the client requested to see me. So like I will go there at the exact time and then I go in and out, I'm there for like, 10 minutes most um but this one i get there and there's like 40 girls so i was just there for over an hour which actually made me miss my second casting that i was supposed to go to so i had to reschedule that one for three o'clock it's two o'clock right now so i have a little time to kill and i'm near soho so <laughs> I guess a little shopping won't hurt. But yeah, like the, I really just hate those type of castings. They're just like really inconsiderate. It feels like a waste of time when you go there and there's like a hundred girls and they all look the same. So it's like, why am I here? Why? Why? So it is a brand new day and I have a new casting today, another casting. Also, I have good news to share. The last casting that I did for Adore Me, they booked me. So I did that casting and now I have a booking for them next week, which is amazing because that's like the whole point of the casting is for them to see you and then love you and then book you. So like I said, I have a new casting today and I just want to show you guys me getting ready for it like in another variation because the first way that I showed you was like my very basic way of getting ready for a casting. Like that is like the default, I guess. I'm trying to part my hair and it's just not parting. Like how I showed you guys is like my specific default way and that's just how I get ready. Not even only for castings, but more on a we're on a consistent basis now i have another casting today that is a beauty casting for a makeup company so one they specifically requested that i don't wear makeup so literally not wearing any makeup and because it's a beauty casting i'm not gonna wear my hair how i normally wear it because i don't want it all in my face and stuff but i don't want to put it 
in a ponytail either so i'm just oh wait i just realized i want to put it in a ponytail but i'm basically going to slick it down and i've been doing that recently it looks really cute but i've been doing it with the side part and i think it looks way cuter but i guess whatever we'll do the middle part today so yeah like i said because it's a beauty casting i don't want my hair in my face so this is the hair that i'm gonna do and I'm just looking it down. I just washed it and I'm using this Mayel Curl Smoothie. This shit is bomb. I really love all their products. Now that my hair is saturated in that, then I'm going to take some aloe vera gel. I just started using this in my hair like as gel basically and it works really nice for me. So I get a lot in there. And then again, I'm saturating, but this I like really saturate. I can wear my hair curly and it'll like moisturize and define my curls really nicely. But because I'm putting a lot, it's just going to slick it down. If you guys want a more updated curly hair routine, then let me know, maybe I'll do that. And I'm just gonna be brushing down the sides as well. Like all the back, I really want it like super sleek. I just saw one time on Instagram someone had started using aloe vera like as their edge control and then I started doing that and I really like how it looks in my hair. I like how it makes my hair feel. So maybe if you have a similar texture to me it could work for you as well. And I'm gonna do my edges a little bit. But yeah, it works for me because I don't like edge control. I don't like gel. I don't like anything that's going to make my hair hard and crunchy. Okay, so I changed. Um, I put these little earrings in. So sometimes brands ask for you to come in like your own personal style. Like they want to see your style. Um, but... Just because it's a beauty casting, I'm trying to keep it like very, very simple. So I just did these little hoop earrings and I'm wearing this bodysuit. I don't know why it's always hard for me to talk on camera. I forget like what things are called and stuff, but this is obviously a bodysuit because I want to show off my shoulder, my collarbones, my neck, all that. You know, if you're wearing a tank top then it's covered so i'm just wearing this simple little bodysuit top and then i'm keeping it simple i'm wearing like cargo pants and sneakers that's my outfit and then of course my little tote bag with my ipad and my comp cards and all that hey y'all so i'm back home now um it's so freaking hot outside i had to come home and take a shower and of course i got the ac blasting so i'm under my covers bonnet on everything i just like braided my hair in two braids and put this bonnet on but i'm back on my phone camera because my other camera's all the way over there and i don't feel like i want to get it but i think my casting went really well i think they liked me so hopefully they book me Hopefully they book me very, very soon because it's for like a really big makeup company and it's a black owned company too. So it's just like, oh my God, yes, Queens. But yeah, this is me recording an outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think it's only been like a week since my last video. So we're like back on track. I'm trying to think like what should my next video be okay if you guys watch all the way to the end i have one last thing to say should my next video be a story time about the time that i lived in london and like my roommate was kind of a psychopath or should i make a story time about how i lost all my friends <laughs> okay bye